How's it going, friends? It is Andrew from MAO Magic, and I'm here with the Santa Apple Watch case. Basically, this is a multi-in-one solution that allows you to have a little travel case for your Apple Watch for a way to display it on your nightstand or bedside, and a way for you to manage your cord and basically a nice simple way to work with your Apple Watch. I know one of my pain points with the Apple Watch is traveling with it because I have it into like, I'll put it into a stand like the Mophie stand, it'll be by my bed and then I'll be going to travel for work and then I have to undo the Apple Watch cord which is kind of a pain. I feel like it's gonna wear my cord down. I have to deal with that really long cord that ships with the Apple Watch. I have nowhere to put it so I kind of reel it up or I have to buy a second Apple Watch charging cable and I have to put that into something like a Nomad Pod uh, to travel with for the weekend. So this is a really nice, elegant solution made out of genuine leather that'll kind of take care of a lot of those problems. You have the Sana logo imprinted onto the leather on the front hand side and on the rear side there is a little slit for the Apple Watch cable to come out. Unfortunately, this does not come with an Apple Watch charger, so you do, will need to provide one for yourself, but because this will work as a really nice stand for most of the time, as well as something to travel with, you really only need that one charging cable. So it's kind of nice you don't need to have a second one because you want to use this when you travel. It's really just one cable you can use to keep with it all the time. It'll break into four pieces, this little top part here, the middle part which splits into two, and then the bottom cover as well. Everything joins together magnetically which makes it really nice and easy, and it'll stay together without having any ugly latches so you can throw it into your bag. When you have your Apple Watch on it, you can put the two pieces together to make it a little bit more elevated, or you can simply leave it on that bottom half by itself. Now the middle part of this, the part where the Apple Watch is actually laying and being connected to is pretty much my main problem with the unit itself. It's not really, I guess, a problem, but kind of the weakest point for me. And that's because it has this that material on it that kind of feels like a cheap jewelry box or something, that just that kind of fuzzy black material. And it's, it's very black, it's very hard to show on camera to show any detail in that, but it is kind of just that basic jewelry box material. And it feels a little bit cheaper compared to the actual leather that's on the outside. I would have really liked something a little bit more like a microfiber lining or cover on this. That would have been a little bit nicer to me, but it's really not that big of a problem. It still looks very good. If we would like to install the actual Apple charger onto this, we're gonna simply slide it up from underneath and press the puck into this ring. Now you do have to press fairly hard. This is a very tight fit here and you have to make sure you come all the way to the front or it's not going to sit in there well and your watch is not gonna charge. Then you can simply wind your cord around this and this will work for the long one that comes with your Apple Watch or the short one that you may purchase third party. Now this is for travel mode if you're not actually plugging this in at the moment. You need to wind it all the way up and then just simply tuck the USB cable in here. It's not very tight so you're not going to have a problem like trying to squeeze that in or getting it aligned properly. It fits in very nicely. Unfortunately it does not actually offer a way to charge. It would have been nice if this was kind of like the Nomad Pod where it would charge it as well so when you were traveling you could simply set it on here and get some much needed battery time. Then your Apple Watch will simply slide around here on top. Unfortunately, the little, the middle part where your Apple Watch is actually sitting is a little big. So if you have a smaller wrist, I guess I have a smaller wrist here, um, it does not completely fit on there. So the watch band is kind of sitting on top of where it's kind of supposed to be nestled around. And again, that's not a big deal. It still sits on here fine, but it could have been slightly smaller for those with smaller wrists, especially women, I'm sure, would have a problem with this. Now, if I do want to use this for actual charging right now, all I have to do is simply take it apart, take the middle piece back out, and you don't want to just pull on the cord. You can't pull on the cord and have it unwind more for you. So if you do need to have the cord come out, you have to actually take it apart and unwind it a bit to get a little bit more length. So don't try to just pull on the cord and have more come out. You do have to unwind. So I'm going to unwind a little bit of this, just enough to get me to my charger. Then you can feed it out of the little slot in the back and then put it all back together. Now I do like this one a lot, especially compared to other ones on the market that only work as a travel case or only work as a nightstand. This will work for both of them in a very nice and simple package. So if we want to go ahead and break this down into the pros and cons on whether or not you should pick up one of the Sena Apple Watch cases, we'll start with the pros. And first up, it has genuine leather. So it's not some feather, faux leather, or something else leather. It's actual leather so it is very nice leather it's maybe not be as soft as apple's leather that they would use on like their 
iPhone cases, but it's still a very good high grain leather. It has two different heights. You can simply use it on that bottom part, but then you kind of have something to do with the top half of it. So I do like being able to prop it up a little bit higher and keeping both parts together. So you have two different heights there. It has the display and travel mode, so you can display it on your nightstand, perfect for everyday use, or when you're going out and about, you can simply wind up that cord with a nice cord management, throw the top on, and you easily throw it into your bag. Unfortunately, I don't have a huge problem with this actual travel. I, I travel with it, but I don't need to actually put my watch inside of it and then travel with it because I'm wearing it all the time. So for the most part, at least for me, I'm wearing my watch, so I don't need to have it tucked in there, but it is a nice option if that's something that I need to do. If we go ahead and look at the con side, the strap size seems to matter. My wrists, I guess, are a little bit too little, and I'm sure a lot of women's wrists would be. So if that's the case, your Apple Watch strap may not perfectly go around the little size there, the little imprint that it's supposed to be setting in, and it'll just kind of rest on top, which isn't a big deal. It still charges perfectly fine. The internal material feels a little bit cheap for me. It seems like kind of a, a little jewelry box material, but I really would have preferred something nicer, like a microfiber, but again, not a deal breaker by any means. And unfortunately, it doesn't have a built-in charger. Obviously, a built-in charger, it means two things. One, it could have a built-in Apple Puck straight from Apple, and you wouldn't have to deal with any cord management stuff. It could all be built in and just done. Unfortunately, this would obviously raise the price, or if it had a built-in battery, which would also be nice, but again, we're looking at raising the price and where this is at now, we wouldn't really want to raise that much higher. It'd be a much more premium product, especially because it, as I do display and travel, you can simply use that one you already have without having to, uh, to deal with that additional cost. If you're interested in one of these, I will put the link in the description below. If you have any questions, throw those up in the comments and I will get right back to you. Please subscribe so and keep videos like this coming at MAO Magic to your Apple News Feed and check out our website, maomagic.com. Other than that, I guess I'll see all of you guys next time.